What's going on YouTube? Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's with your friends, your family, and your loved ones. We are now in 2019. The next chapter begins. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited about this year as far as sneakers go. They got a ton of stuff going. You know, a ton of stuff. It's looking like an awesome year. But before we talk about the future, let's dive into the past a little bit. I want to show you guys my favorite pickup of 2018 and what is my favorite shoe in my collection. Now, this shoe released in 2015, but I just got them a few months ago. I haven't showed this to you guys yet because I got these before I started the channel, but I'm going to show you guys now. And that is the Shattered Backboard 1.0. So, this right here, like I said, released in 2015. And the reason it's called the Shattered Backboard Jordan 1 is because it's dedicated to MJ Duncan is smashing the, the backboard. And the main detail that calls homage to that is going to be the insole, which I'll start by showing you guys right there. You can see you got a basketball rim with a hoop and the glass from the backboard that was obviously shattered, pun intended. But, and so it's kind of like almost like a black toe type vibe because I'm assuming, I don't know, this is where I'm not gonna act like I know, but I'm assuming he was wearing the black toes when he did this dunk. And so that's why they went with like a black toe themed colorway. That's that. That's my, my educated guess. I haven't done my research like that. I've been slacking. I didn't do my homework, sorry guys. <laughs> but nonetheless, this is the shoe. This is the shoe that everybody always talks about, always brings up when it comes to quality as far as Jordan ones. You know, when people say shattered board type quality, they're talking about this shoe right here. And why? Because the leather on this shoe is insane. The leather is the main reason that this is my favorite sneaker. Like, the Jordan brand absolutely set the high standard when it comes to quality when it came to this shoe. And in my opinion, they have not topped it yet. This leather is so soft. Like, the shoe is soft. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but like when you press the leather, you can see how much it wrinkles. Let me see if I can focus on this for you guys. You can just see how soft the leather is. And this is all over the place, man. Like every part of the shoe is soft. Now, I don't know if you, if you guys catch this on camera, you see like this glitter all over the, the black leather. It just happens from age, you know, these shoes, even just from sitting on the box for some reason, like only the black leather starts to accumulate there's like glittery dust, it's weird, but like you could wipe it right off. So like, this happened on this, my breads or bands from 2016 started doing that, my roll from 2017, so eventually they all started doing this. So if you guys ever see like glitter on some ones, it's cool, it just happens from over time. Um, but yeah, so this shoe's pretty much self-explanatory. I don't really gotta dive into details. It's just a black toe color blocking with orange you know and then got your black tongue white white and orange um air logo there let me see if i can focus on that for you guys right there and overall it's just an awesome sneaker really really good quality oh also the tongue on this particular pair of ones is super thick it's like a, almost like an sb tongue like i don't know if you can really see it by looking at it but when you feel it like it's definitely thicker so it just this just feels more like a shoe you know like there's more substance to it you could you could really like wear these and like they don't feel fragile i think is that's what the word that i'm looking for but you know i i get excited every time i talk about this sneak and i get excited to wear it I really wish I could grab another pair, but the prices are crazy. I paid a crazy price. I paid resale because I really, really wanted the shoe because I slept on it when the first release. But once I had the opportunity to rebuy it, I made sure I bought it. But that's about it, guys. Again, Happy New Year. And if you don't already, please hit that like button, subscribe, comment if you'd like, share this video. And don't forget to follow me on IG where you guys can always see my newest pickups before I ever record them. Again, take it easy, guys. Happy New Year. I look forward to doing a lot more stuff for you guys soon.